Hi students, in this part of the video we are going to see the parts of an actual galvanometer. The galvanometer that you use in a laboratory is like this. These are the two leads for the current to enter and come out. And the internal parts are like this. These are the parts we have cut open from a defunct galvanometer. A galvanometer which was out of order. So we have removed the internal parts to show you how the galvanometer is actually constructed. You can see here the scale and you can see here the pointer and the other parts I will be showing you from a closer look. This is our powerful concave pole pieces. How do you say it is a powerful concave pole pieces? See here. This is a soft iron piece. The rectangular coil, can you see now? And the pivot also can be seen. The pivot is the top one, red wire is there. From there to the bottom one, where you can see a blue color. Yeah. Can you identify the two spiral springs? See the rectangular coil is not touching the soft iron cylinder. The rectangular coil, soft iron cylinder which is not touching the rectangular coil. The pointer and the two spiral springs, they are all under a strong pivot. They are all with the support of the pivot. So the rectangular coil is free to move. So when current flows through the rectangular coil, there will be a torque experienced by the rectangular coil. The two spiral springs, can you see the spiral springs? Shining one. The two spiral springs provide the counter torque. So at equilibrium, so at equilibrium, I is proportional to theta.